Hello everyone. So in the previous video, we have seen uh, the create and read operations in Redux. And in this video, we will see how you can update and delete. So let's check what we have done. Let's try adding a new task, task 2020. Okay, see, we see how the view gets changed as soon as the state changes. Okay, let's move on to doing the uh, update and delete. So, okay, so marking this done as done or undone, this is one kind of update. You need to update the uh, value of this attribute. So, let's define action for this as well. And then we have an action to remove a single item and to remove all items. So, let's define all those actions at first. We know that we will need actions. So, let's define an action. Let's call this toggle item state action. Uh, okay. And for this, we will uh, need. Okay. Then we will call remove item action. Let's call this remove single item action. Okay, we will be needing an index over here. Okay, so let's say index and here to remove all, we don't need anything basically. Remove items action. So we have all our actions defined. So let's see if all the parameters are right. Okay, for toggling the state, we need to have the value of all the attributes and the index as well. So let's say index as well. Okay, let me type in this dot index. Okay, the comma. And now that we have defined all the actions. Let's uh, do the reducer code as well. Okay, let's go into reducer. Now let's check if it is if action is toggle item action. If action is toggle item state action, then what we'll do? Okay, uh, let's do the same thing. Uh, like let's say print. Okay, print high from toggle item state action. So we can be clear that this action is being triggered by the uh, event. Okay. Okay. Now, to toggle the item state, what we have to do is we have to create a copy of this particular item in the index and update it, and then return the new state. Okay, the new state we that we have built. So let's take an item called new item. Okay, which will be the input state dot item list state then we have action dot we are passing the index as well in the action right so uh, we will pass in at this index whatever the item instance of item we have we will store it in this new item now let's say new item dot done equals to not new item dot done Okay, when you're toggling, it will like if it is done, then it should be undone. If it is done, undone, then it should be done. Okay, now let's return the state, the like return the copy of the state, copy with item list state. Is that semicolon item list state? state dot item list state okay now let's implement this in the home page in our view so unless we trigger like unless we dispatch an action uh, from the ui uh, we won't see the changes so to do this on pressed like whenever the uh, checkbox is pressed we will uh, call this action restore dot dispatch toggle item state 
action okay oh actually we don't need the item so let's remove it from here we will just need the index okay mm, let's pass the index so we are done now let's check if it's working okay hi from toggle item state good yes it's working so uh, we have done update now let's try removing one item okay so to remove the item let's check if action is remove item action okay probably this is remove single item action remove single item action if it is this then what we will do is uh, at that particular index we are going to remove that item so state dot item list state dot let's say remove at and it will be action dot index at the input index which we are receiving we will remove at that index and then the same thing we will return copy of the new state okay now let's check if this is working okay let's also add a print thing it's actually easier to identify this way let's say print remove okay hi from remove single item action so let's check if this is working let's go to my home page and dispatch this event as well so where is our dismissible yes we have a property called on dismiss and here we will dispatch the remove single item action store dot dispatch remove remove single item action and we will pass in the index over here okay so let's try it and it's working so now uh, we have uh, the feature we have remaining is to remove all items so let's do that we have the action defined remove item actions we're going to check it in the reducer and code it as well okay so let's see if action is remove items action then do this so then we will return a copy of this return state dot copy with it takes an item list state item list state then take a list dot dot we have this remove and we are going to remove the whatever is in the current state okay let me give a print here as well I from remove items action all right now we need to dispatch this event let's check our floating action button uh, yes we have a delete confirmation dialog okay if we press no nothing happens and if you press yes okay we will uh, do this okay we will dispatch the remove items action store dot dispatch remove items action we don't need to pass anything because we need to delete everything that's in the list okay that's currently whatever is in the store we're gonna delete it like whatever or uh, about item list state okay so let's try this if we do no nothing happens and if we say yes then everything should get deleted so see how easily we've implemented the crude operation uh, redux crude in our flutter application let me show you whatever we have done uh, from here like up to now so we have seen creating an element let me create another element so let's say task 2 task 2 
uh, we have seen how you can like update this list view we have seen how you can mark it as done or undone how you can remove single action by swiping out right and how you can delete all the items so that was all for this video series